now there is a lot of application of the of the reduction potential some of which I have written here the rest of it is in the book but I do not recommend to maybe remember all this but you should have in mind the the normal normal way in which they are graded okay so so this gradation how how they descend that should be known to you <clears throat> now let us try to understand what it means and how useful it can be either when you are doing the organic chemistry and you are trying to oxidize something or when you are doing the metal extraction and you are trying to reduce some metals and extract it as 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 a metal so so this comes this becomes very 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 useful now at the top of the table we have fluorine what does it mean it has got a 2.87 reduction potential 2.87 volts when obviously compared with SHE right standard hydrogen electrode so what happens is what happens is it means that fluorine has got the highest tendency to get reduced is it not it is not for nothing that the electronegativity value of this is the highest right when you when you assign that electronegativity value it, it is assigned a value of 4 why because it is so small that it immediately captures an electron from anywhere okay and and becomes an ion why why because it has nine electrons right two seven so immediately it, it captures an electron and and completes the octet and becomes an f minus right the others the chlorine you see the bromine bromine i have not written bromine must be below this iodine must iodine is here okay where is bromine? Bromine, uh, have they given bromine in the table? Yes, sir. Where? Sure. Bromine should come here. So you see how graded they are. And, and it's very, very correct. So it is Br2 plus 2 electron giving you 2Br minus. It is 1.09. Now what happens, so fluorine is there, chlorine is here, bromine is here and iodine is here. Is it any wonder that fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine occur one below the other in the periodic table? What is happening? This has the larger size, so the, so the attracting strength has gone down. It captures the electrons but less fiercely, less strongly than fluorine and this this captures it less strongly than than chlorine and this as less strong this this less strongly than than bromine correct correct okay who 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 not at all come on um, on they'll give away the electrons they are electronegative elements then it'll start becoming a metal it is an electronegative element so it captures so so its tendency to get reduced is high and it is in this order it is in the same order that is there in the periodic table okay now fluorine is able to 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 capture an electron to maybe snatch an electron from someone so what does it do gets it gets reduced fine but it actually oxidizes the, the 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 thing from which it has captured that electron so it becomes the strongest oxidizing agent understand that okay the tendency of the tendency of fluorine to capture 
an electron is the highest correct and this gradation tells you that all these species have relatively lower lower tendency to capture the electron right as compared to flurry or as compared to whatever lies above them as we go down the table as we go down the table the tendency to get reduced the tendency to get reduced becomes lesser it becomes lesser as you start traveling down also the those which lie above this okay have a greater tendency than hydrogen ion to get reduced fine because obviously hydrogen is there and those below it have lesser tendency to get reduced fine you see these these are metals okay so there obviously since they are electropositive their tendency to get reduced is less okay so you can say that this is also the gradation of the metallic properties of the of the elements is it not this is the gradation in the so as you go lower as we go lower the metallic property increases okay <clears throat> thus the highest element the highest in the table that is in the in the sorry in the table that is fluorine fluorine is the strongest is the strongest oxidizing element oxidizing element it is the strongest oxidizing element or oxidizing agent <clears throat> okay this so so the oxidizing property goes up like this oxidizing property goes up property increases as you go up here what happens what happens here their tendency to get reduced is very less so that means their tendency to give the electrons is more and if they give electrons there must be some acceptor so whomsoever they are handing over their electrons gets reduced so these act as reducing agents so the tendency to reduce something increases like this so as i go down the reducing property increases okay okay also as i go up the non metallic property okay what is the non metallic property the tendency to capture an electron as i go up the non metallic property increases the non metallic property increases so obviously as i come down the metallic property increases okay it also helps you in setting up the cell 
and immediately predicting the voltage that it will develop. No? The one which is higher up will be kept to the right because its tendency to get reduced is more. Okay? The, the, the species higher up in the table should be kept to the right. The species higher up in the table should be kept to the right. Should be kept to the right as its tendency to get reduced is more. Okay, I'm talking about an electric uh, electrochemical cell in electro chemical cell or, or or I'll say in galvanic cell electrochemical cell cell includes both the galvanic as well as which other Electrolytic, electrochemical cell has Daniel or galvanic and the electrolytic. In electrolytic, you pass the electric current and the non-spontaneous reaction occurs. In the galvanic, the spontaneous reaction occurs and you tap the electrical current. It, they are the reverse of each other. But together they are known as electrochemical cell. So the species higher up in the table should be kept to the right as it tends to get reduced as more and that which is lower should be kept to the left. Okay. Okay. So, which is the weakest oxidizing agent in all this? Lithium. Right. That is immediately known and, and that's a great thing. I, I have also put in chromate here, right? Chromate in acidic medium. You'll always be coming across this because, because acidified potassium dichromate is a very strong oxidizing agent. Not the strongest, but strong. Okay? So Same with this. Same with this. Okay? Acidified magnesium dioxide, man manganese dioxide is a very strong, very strong oxidizing agent. Not the best, but fine. It oxidizes so many things. Okay? That is there, but this is also this thing. MnO4, okay, potassium, potassium permanganate is also there, but, but this is also a strong one. Okay, not the strongest, but yes, strong. But the strongest are also the costliest. Okay, Why they are very costly. Chlorine is given? Hmm? Why not use chlorine? No, no, chlorine is a gas. There are a hell lot of troubles with chlorine. It starts reacting with the species itself. That is also its problem. And, and it, it reacts with, the, with explosion. The reaction is so fast that non, normally it explodes. So you do not handle, you do not handle this. Though technically speaking, this is the strongest oxidizing. Still, we don't use it, right? Okay. It should oxidize, but it should not form a compound with it, right? So, 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 so these are various things that we get and their application ranges from metallurgy to organic chemistry to inorganic chemistry and everywhere. Okay. Okay. So, so, 
and, and you'll find that if you know this, then you also know that metal activity series. Okay. So all those things are ingrained in this simple thing called the standard electrode potential. So it becomes very, very, very important. Very important with these properties, which are simple to understand. Okay. Okay.